Hello, this is DJ Fish for fish to go Movie Reviews, and honestly, if you're going to play with fire, at least figure out a way to extinguish it. Stay tuned. That's the picture. Welcome to day 60 of my 100 Days 100 Movies Challenge. I bet all of you out there thought I couldn't do it. In fact, I bet my own awesome muscle car on it. Okay, I don't actually own a muscle car. I mean, look at me. But the folks at Cult Wolf Productions do, and a few other really cool things that you'll find out later in this review. And they've utilized it all for Evan Glodell's 2011 debut film called Bellflower. Now, it seems like all these guys do is hang out and make movies together, which is pretty much what I want to do. I mean, I still do, but definitely not to this extent. It's my dream. And I only wish I had seen this earlier in the year to jumpstart my dream of making movies all over again. I had been meaning to see this in theaters, but now it is officially out on Blu-ray via Oscilloscope Laboratories, who also distributed the wonderful Wendy and Lucy, which I reviewed a few days ago. So sit back and get ready for some badassery with Bellflower and its trailer. Who are you? Where are you from? What do you do? Oh, um... I'm going on a date tonight. Congratulations. Thanks. All right, here we go. Wait, what if it blows up or something? Then we're gonna be on fire. Okay. This is nice. You don't want me to be your girlfriend. Why not? Because I'll hurt you. Oh, how do you know I won't end up hurting you? I doubt it. <laughs> I'm pretty tough, you know. Called. Why are you doing this? Ah, I want to show you the whole trailer. But you can head on to the link I provided in the description box below for that. Seriously though, it's one of the best trailers I've seen all year and one of the best films I've seen all year. Evan Glodell directs, writes, edits, produces, and stars as Woodrow, a man as man can man. He and his friend Aiden have been so influenced by the film Mad Max that they decide to build pyrotechnical items and a vehicle called Medusa for the impending apocalypse. So understand that there actually is no apocalypse that's going to happen. But during these events, Woodrow meets Millie in an unusual dining experience. The two start a young romance that knows no bounds, enjoying partying and drinking all the time. But a sudden turn of events leaves Woodrow in the dust. And based on his masculine thinking habits, things aren't going to go down without grit. Like I stated, Bellflower is the debut feature from Evan Glodell. After researching a little bit about the film, I found out that the film was only made for $17,000. Now you look back at that trailer and tell me that was made for $17,000. I don't think you can. I was part of a film that ran for 14 minutes and that was made for 30 something thousand dollars. Basically what I'm trying to get at is Evan Glodell is an inspiring filmmaker. He's debuted with a film he's created that's an absolute labor of love. With beautiful cinematography and editing matched with a brilliant story and strong themes, as well as surprisingly good performances. So let's start with the story, I guess. The film's underlying context is heavily reliant on the film Mad Max, which itself is a post-apocalyptic adventure film starring Mel Gibson. This overarching idea of surviving the apocalypse directly coincides with Woodrow's and Millie's relationship. The apocalypse isn't entirely in the way we see it, like The Four Horsemen or Melancholia. But it's really personified in the last remaining events of a hurtful relationship. They emphasize the great power of immortality and survival past dreadful memories with this ridiculously customized Buick Skylark. And I just find it so hard to believe how rationalized I think the film makes it out to be. I mean, by all means, this is a rough and gritty film that sometimes goes over the top. And with Glodell's smart direction, everything here just feels plausible. That's admirable to me. Like, how come I can't write like this? Seriously. Glodell then translates all of this to film so well. It slowly but surely builds on Woodrow's and Millie's relationship before colliding in an explosive third act, which pretty much blew me away with how unexpected it came out to be. And that itself reflects the passage of time before an impending apocalypse occurs. It's all about connection. Now let's get to the cinematography. Glodell and his crew actually built a one-of-a-kind camera specifically for this film. Say what? 
Cinematographer Joel Hodge combined pieces of different lenses and bellows to create this raw and oversaturated look. You can actually check out the camera's process in a YouTube video, which I've also linked down there. And it actually works. Like we get an orangey vintage saturation during more subversive scenes. Or jelly lenses that shape the image as we rattle along with the Medusa. It's almost so wildly ingenious that I commend Glodell and his crew an A plus just for their creativity. As for the acting, it's pretty much Glodell's troop acting with him. And I gotta be honest and say they're actually pretty good, even in spots that are over the top. I mean, maybe I have a bias because I'm a budding filmmaker myself, but I just find Bellflower as an inspirational debut. Think Tarantino with Reservoir Dogs. If a guy can really pull off a fantastic look with a fantastic story on a shoestring budget, I want in. And I can't stress enough how much passion can go into a project regardless of its budget. So Evan Glodell, you're a filmmaker to look out for. I gotta give this thing a solid A. If you have had the chance to see Bellflower before, I'd like to know what you thought about it. Did you love it? Hate it? And why? Leave one of those comments down below, and if you like any of my reviews or would just like to continue on my 100 Days 100 Movies Challenge, then you can subscribe up above. It's the end of the 40s with 40 more films to go from here, so keep those suggestions and recommendations coming. And don't forget one of these guys. And once again, I'm DJ Fish for Fish to Go Movie Reviews. Movie reviews on the go. That's the picture.